Hello there! I hope everyone is okay. I hope you enjoy my first video in English and I hope you're going to enjoy this one. So, today um, we still in the subject, traveling alone or not. And I'm going to tell you five good reasons for traveling alone. So, let's start. Reason number five. So the reason number five is um, that's a challenge. When you're going to travel alone, you're going sometimes to feel lonely, uh, you can be lost or, you know, all these kind of things. And so when you do it on your own, when you do it yeah, on your own, just by yourself, you will feel so much better after that. That's going to be just absolutely amazing. Really to feel really proud of yourself. Even if it's not the best, even if you, you know, even if everything is not perfect, you're still going to be able to say, I did it, I tried it. It's for me, it's not for me, it doesn't matter. What matters is not the result. What matter is to do it and to realize if it's for you or not. So, reason number five, see if you can manage this challenge. Reason number four. So, that can introduce you to another language. And I think that's really important because most of you think, why do you want me to learn another language when everyone speaks English? No, that's not true. Not everyone does speak English. When I met my husband, I wasn't able to speak English. I was putting word. It's like, you know, I was able to say hi, how are you? Where's the post office? Where's Brian? Brian is in the kitchen. Um, I put you a link just under that. Look, where's Brian? You're going to understand. But, you know, everyone doesn't speak English. And as soon as you're going to be abroad, it might be a good moment for you to try to learn another language. Spanish, French, German. But it's a good moment for you to start work again, your French or your German or whatever, the language you learn where you were at school. And that's really important. So please, even if you're an English speaker, while traveling, try to learn another language. So, that was number four. Number three. -da 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 -da. Number three, we've got, you will have time for yourself. It's really difficult when you're in this society and, you know, it's like you're waking up in the morning, drink your coffee, have your breakfast, get it underground, go to work or get in your car and go to work listening to radio or CD or whatever. And after that, you arrive at work and you're not on your own. And after that, you've got lunch and whatever. So like we say in French, underground work sleeping, underground work sleeping, metro, boulot, dodo. So what is happening when you, when we're in this life, in, in this real life, what is happening is we don't really take time for ourselves and we don't really take time to, to ask us what is right, what is not right, what do I love, what don't I love, what do I want, what don't I want. If you travel alone, you're going to be able to take this time for yourself and think about yourself and you're going to have the time to make a point and see what do you like in your life and why don't you like? Why do you want to change and why don't you want to change? And why do you want to change these things or these things or these things? And that's really important and because you're not going to be in your environment, in your country, but because you're going to be abroad in an environment and in a country that you may not really understand perfectly, you're going to you know, really think of yourself. What am I? Where am I going? And that's really nice. And a lot of people told me that they loved when they travel alone because they had a long time. They have a time to make the point a point, you know, like to stop and think. That's really important because most of the time when we are in our country, we don't really take the time for that. So, that was my point number three. You're going to be able to take time for yourself and to think about your life. That's really good. Number two, traveling alone. It doesn't mean traveling alone. Take an example, myself, because it's easy. And I say that I'm going to travel alone in Thailand. That only one is going in Thailand. And so one of my friends told me that one of his, her friends was going to Thailand and we arrived the same day. 
So we met each other and we spent a few days together. So I wasn't alone. And after that, when he decided to go somewhere and I didn't want to go there, so <laughs> he went and I was on my own in Bangkok. What happened? I met someone else. I met another French guy. And after that, we met another French guy. And, you know, at the end, it's not because you're leaving your country on your own with your backpack. It's not because you're living alone that you're going to spend all your time alone. When you're traveling alone, you're going to meet a lot to meet a lot of people. When I travel alone, I'm alone. I'm looking, you know, I'm looking around for all the people who are alone or for people, you know, to meet people. And because I'm alone and because I don't really want to be alone, I open myself and it's easier for people to come to me. Um, so it's not because you leave your country on your own that you're going to spend all your holidays alone. Unless you really want to spend all your holidays alone. But I don't think so. Uh, and to finish with this point, what is happening is so when you travel alone and when you met people, you're going to build a relationship with these people. This relationship is amazing. It's one of the best relationships you will never have because you give yourself 100% to this other one. Girl or boy, you know, I'm not talking about sex here. I'm just talking about relationship and friendship. And the friendship, this kind of friendship, the kind of friendship you built when you're abroad with other people, this is friendship really like this. I met, so I met four people during, not more than that, but I spent most of my early days, my first travel in Thailand, with four people. And, <coughs> sorry. And today I'm three really close with these four people. Uh, we still talk to each other most of the time. Uh, for the moment, I've got two of them, three of them, but not all together. So two of them, two girls, are traveling together and they're in India. And this morning they just post a picture for me to tell me, like, you know, we're thinking of you. And um, yeah, we're still in contact and we do love each other. And when I say love, I do say love. So, traveling alone doesn't mean spending all your time alone. Really not. Okay, no. Number one of the best reason why is it good to travel alone? Because you're going to be free. Yeah, you're going to be free to do whatever you want. You're just going to think, what do I want to do? What do my little person want to do? You're not going to have to think, oh, uh, what does she want to do? What does he want to do? Do we want to do the same things? Do we have the same amount of money? Do we have the same time? No, that's just, what do I want to do? And that's really great because just having to think of yourself, that's amazing. Just, you know, you don't have to do any concession. Concession? You know, when you want to do something and someone else, the other one, wants to do something else, and it's absolutely not in the same space and you have to take a decision. What are we going to do? Are we going to do what she wants or are we going to do what I want? No, you will not have this kind of problem. You're just going to do what you want to do. After that, like I said just two minutes ago, you're going to meet people. And you're going to do, you know, travel with them for a long time or a short time. What's going to happen is, you know, when one of you decides... No, you know, you're going there, and no, sorry, I want to go there. You're just going to say, okay, goodbye, nice to meet you. We're still friends on Facebook or whatever. I've got your email, I've got your phone number, whatever. And you still chat with each other. And no clash, no argument. And so as soon as you're alone, you're free. Really free. And this is just amazing. So, I hope you love this video. Um... In a few days, I'm going to do the video number three about this subject, traveling alone or not. And the subject will be five good reasons to travel with friends. So I hope you love, so I hope you liked this video. And I hope now you're just going to start to prepare a good travel alone or with friends. Ciao, ciao.